really grateful that this exists and the love that comes from the staff and everything that they've thought of in advance to take care of all of us is um, kind of mind-boggling and very much appreciated. This is the place you'd want to learn how to surf because they have every board you could possibly imagine. They have the best coaches in the world. They have amazing food and you have this program. So I, it's, I'm already like trying to plan some trips with some friends to come back. very much a beginner to surfing. I have friends that are very passionate about surfing and so when I go to visit them they'd often try to take me to the beach with them and they had all come through Surf Simply and they suggested I do the same. Okay so I, I've been surfing more consistently in the past 10 years. I learned late uh, but mostly because I have a posse over there in the Bay Area <laughs> and that's awesome because it makes me want to go surf and no matter what the conditions are because I know I'm going to meet these guys. There's always something new to learn. I mean there's no end to the improvements that, that these coaches can help us make. It just motivates me and I think us to just keep going forward. For me as a, a, a full-time parent that surfing and coming here it feels so luxurious and special to have something in my 40s that I care about working on that I'm that pushes me in this way. I've been surfing for I think it's going on four years now and I've reached a point where I wasn't sure what I needed to do. I could catch waves and I thought it would be a good idea to learn from the pros. <laughs> I decided to come to Surf Simply because I wanted to uh, fix my fear of drowning in big waves. So my relationship with surfing is that I wanted more to do with my daughter. So at age 50, um, she was surfing, so I decided to learn how to surf. And then my daughter decided that she didn't want to surf anymore, but I continued on because it was so much fun. <laughs> I love the technical aspect of the coaching. Broken down in little pieces, it's given at just the amount and they pushed me enough when I needed to and let me chill when I needed to, so it worked perfect for me. I, I had a feeling for surfing. I didn't have technique for surfing, but I have skills and tools that I would totally love to work on my skill set and come back and improve some more. They break it down for you take away a lot of the, the fear factor because you've, you've taken care of what you can. And then the variables will still be the variables, but you have um, assumed some control over the situation. And that feels good. That feels, you know, confidence building. I really appreciate how uh, systematic it is. There's, you know, set goals for each session. And, and I like how they, they always try to add on a little bit more each time to give you something to think about. <laughs> uh, I had Harrison, excellent teacher, um, very patient with me, very good with feedback as well. He, he would help me troubleshoot and, and give me reasons why you know I wasn't getting to where I wanted to. I got to work with Jesse again, who is just my hero, and my goals this week were to, to work on maintaining speed down the line, and she gave me all these nuggets. It's just like these little things that you that just changed the whole way I surf. I worked with Will again, and Will just showed me like why in my stance I am never making the face long enough. Like having the chance to work with Teal, she is the 
perfect balance of like the most enthusiastic cheerleader and then like the a very methodical and specific and deliberate coach. Derek was my coach. Um, gosh, just the happiest dude in town. In a week, to become that close with someone and, um, and deal with me being really frustrated because I was trying to go back and learn skills that I didn't have um, was amazing. So my coach was Marlon. I came here with a lot of fear and I'm going home wanting to surf again because of the way he's basically stuck with me all week. Yeah. So Tommy was my coach and he's been great in the water when there's head high waves coming through and being, you know, yelled at, you know, head first, head first, <laughs> right. you know, look up. Um, I think those things really, you know, have that extra uh, reinforcement um, to get the good habit. Like, I love it. Hey, <laughs> that was awesome. It was like unicorn obsessions. It was awesome. to be small in February <laughs> and it was not small. There was some juicy size to keep us on our toes and then there were these like flowy incredible um, mellow uh, sessions yesterday and this afternoon for our sunset surf that just like was the icing on the cake. I like big waves but I feel, I'm not very good on them but I like them and so that was really cool to do to sort of make the drop on that and then when it got smaller then you could just work on different things. What better place to work through conditions that feel big and scary and then today I think was we were all so much more equipped to handle wind again and mm -hmm. keep a playful spirit about it. it. It just didn't feel scary anymore. Highlight of my week, the first time Harrison and I paddled out back um, and began catching green waves. Being able to go out back and catch a steep wave and ride it all the way in. Uh, probably was the two nights we went out to dinner at La Luna and La Garcha. I think that those two nights helped to show like how beautiful this part of Costa Rica is. I think the stretch sessions are extremely useful and uh, very important, especially since everybody is going out onto the water twice a day. The people, you know, it. I didn't know anyone else, I came by myself, and I immediately gravitated to a couple people, but over the week it became like a family, where we all like cheer each other on. And It helps that everybody here has a shared goal of wanting to get better at something that you know they've come to consider a hobby or a passion of theirs, and so with that in mind, um, everybody seems very supportive. just say if you really want excellent coaching, someone who's really going to focus on you from the moment you get here to the time, the last time you get out of the water and leave, this is the place to come. It is the NFL post-game practice meets your honeymoon. You've yeah. got massages, you've got the pool, you've got the delicious food. Such a and you got like, do those drills, yeah. touch that lip, like slow get motion low. Through. Everybody always said like, Dennis is the best and um, I can finally say that I know what exactly everybody is talking about. Holy uh, crap, cruise. it's like a gourmet <laughs> three course meal every single day. It's, it's just phenomenal. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And I'm vegan and gluten free, so with dietary restrictions, to be able to come here and have phenomenal food every day of the week, fantastic. Dennis and his staff, they can really, they're so creative with the food. I'm not really a food person, but this week I became, I become a foodie. I was ready to quit when I came here. Now I'm excited to go surfing again in San Diego when we get home. You know, by the end of this week, I was, you know, 
bottom turning up to the lip. I can hit the lip with that board and, and come back down. And it was just, thank you, Jesse. No one ever told me etiquette. People never told me. I didn't get someone to ask those questions of. I'd get a little tidbit here or there, but I didn't get the full picture. And I think this really gave you a full picture of surfing. Really helped me learn so much about what a wave is and the different ways to protect myself. And all that information and knowledge helped me to not be afraid anymore, which is quite the miracle. Thank you very much, all of uh, all the teachers here. and. Um, I hope to see you again soon. If you ever thinking about it, do it. Yeah, just as just Nike do it. says, just do just it. Just do it. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah. <laughs>